perennial skeleton. So this is the shark. The shark would be swimming this way. It has its rostrum out here, nasal capsule here and here. Then you have palato quadrate coming across the top. And on the bottom, the bottom jaw is Meckel's cartilage. And then you have these, which are the serratobrachials. This is the vertebral column. What was the serratobrachial? These. Oh, sorry. On the bottom. Right here. Because it looks like it's pointing. Mm -hmm. No, it is. Mm -hmm. And then you have your orbit right here where the eye would go. Then back here you have the otic capsule, so that's kind of like where the ear is. The ear. Mm -hmm. And then you have your hyomandibular right here. This supports the jaw articulation. So the jaw articulation in the shark is palatoquadrate Meckel's cartilage. Okay. Jaw articulation is really important. It's going to be on the test a lot for the different animals. And then underneath here, supporting the jaw again, all of this, it comes down all the way over here, and it comes down all the way over here, and it's hard right there. That's the serrato hyle. And then on top, up here, you have epibranchials. So you have your serrato branchials on the bottom and your epibranchials on the top. Okay. And then this whole part right here that I'm wiggling, that's the visceral skeleton. This part is the chondrocranium. Can you okay. point to the different branchials again? Yeah, so you have your serratobranchials mm -hmm. on the bottom and your epibranchials on the top. Okay. So it's just the division of oh, I see. top okay. versus bottom of the shark. Oh, yeah. And let's go down to the first skull. Are you so recording this? Our perch skull. We have dentary right here. And then you can see that little line of separation right there. Mm -hmm. That's articular. That's where it changes to articular. Okay. And the articular articulates with the quadrate bone. So the jaw joint articulation in the fish is quadrate articular. So this little triangle is a quadrate. <coughs> then up here, which is kind of cracked on that side and pretty cracked on this side too, we mm -hmm. had the hyomandibular. Mm -hmm. This is the operculum. Or this is the preoperculum. This is the operculum back here. Okay. And I don't know that you need to know the core point in the scapula. I think it's just labeled on there. Up here we have his premaxilla basically is broken off. It would be a little thick part that sticks out in the front right here. You have your nasal on top, your maxilla on the side right here in your frontal bone, right here. Is the guan skull over there? You mean the cat skull? No, this is the guana skull. <laughs> it's a cat on it. This is it, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so the iguana skull, um, you only have to know the abbreviations that are on here that are like written out. So let me double check that and make sure exactly what you have to know. Yeah, okay. So everything that's listed in the legend, so that's these. So the basi occipital is right here. See where the little red dots are? Mm -hmm. Apparently that was a test question at one point. Mm -hmm. The basi occipital. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then we have our ex occipital, which is E O. <laughs> ex occipital is here and here, also red. And then our supraoccipital, which is SOC, which is this part right here. And then we have our occipital, which is this part right here. Then we have our frontal, which is this whole piece right here. P 
P-A-R is parietal, and parietal is this whole piece right here. <coughs> Premaxilla is right in front, and we still have it on this guy. It broke off a little bit on the other side, but you can see that little piece that kind of comes straight down. And it's a tooth-bearing structure, but it has teeth on it. And then you have your maxilla, which is completely broken off on this side, but we still have it on this side. And our quadrate, which is pretty important, and it's right here, this whole bone, because in the lizard, the jaw articulation is the same as in the fish. Quadrate, articular. I'm going to grab the bottom jaw of one of, if there's a bottom jaw over there. So, they fit up like that. So the articular is the bottom part? Yeah, so right here is the articular. Okay. And it comes all the way and wraps around the inside right there. And then we have our squamosal bone, which is right above our articular. It's right here. Also has a little red dot on it, so it's probably a test question at some point. And the pterygoid, um, which is right here. This whole bone. And the palatine uh, is this piece right here and here. Luckily, you don't have to know the bone mark because that's completely missing. Yeah. Normally, th there would be another bone right here. So, palatine is between kind of your start of your pterygoid. Right there. So, palatine. Um, let's see. <coughs> Then we come down, and then we have a few other things on here. We did our frontal, which was right there. Then we have a prefrontal right in front of it. And in between those, you can see how there's a suture right there and right there. Mm -hmm. That's the lacrimal. And then we have our postorbital, which is right here, which is next to our squamosal. And this is an important thing. There's a difference between when we ask for the bone versus when we ask for the structure. If we're asking for the structure and we put a dot here or here or right in the middle, it would be the supertemporal arch. The arch is a structure. But we could put a dot right here, ask for the structure, and it would be supertemporal arch. And then the second question would say, what is the bone? Well, the bone is the postorbital bone because they're two different things. So structure is supertemporal arch, bone, post-orbital bone, or squam muscle if it's on this side. So we did, <coughs> we did quadrate. We did um, the pterygoid fossa. Don't really worry about It's a little indentation right there. It's very tiny, very hard to see. Then we have our bottom jaw of our lizard, and it's going opposite direction because this is the outside, and it's showing you the outside. You have your coronoid sticking up. Now, <coughs> spelling counts, and since I graded the last, last test, I gave you guys more leeway on spelling. I'm a horrible speller. <laughs> but um, I know that the rest of the people are not as nice on spelling, particularly <coughs> on things like this, where you have coronoid where if you change one letter in that and make it coracoid instead, you're talking about a completely different bone and a completely different animal. So make sure you get the coronoid for this one. We have dentary in front, angular on the bottom here, surangular on the top, and articular is this whole back part right here that articulates with the quadrate. Then on the inside, and this is actually going the right way for this. You still have dentary, let's see, but you only have to know articular, dentary, and coracoid, coronoid. So coronoid on the inside is right there, and articular is still.